Evening. So it's almost like I basically need a GoPro to film what I'm doing with my GoPro. But anyway, I'm so excited right now because a couple of things. Um, I mentioned before in some videos how the audio in, uh, from the GoPro in its waterproof case with the selfie and the ambient noise and everything was bugging me. So anyway, so I, obviously I still have the GoPro Hero 3. Um, but today was amazing. So today, and Amazon, I, I mean, I think it goes without saying that Amazon is phenomenal. Um, no, not the river, the, the website, um, the company, the building. Um, anyway, so what I got today was the Cena uh, Bluetooth pack for the GoPro. And the beauty of this is a couple of things. One is that it basically fits on the entire back of the, I wanna make sure I have some light here. It fits on the back of the of the GoPro. Uh, on this side, you can see it basically has the power and that basically turns on the Bluetooth part and then it does have a microphone here on this side, which, you know, for the most part, I'm not gonna use because if I wanted to just use a small, lousy internal microphone that was part of the body of the uh, GoPro, then I would just use, use the GoPro one. Uh, and then it's got the pairing button down here so you can pair it with Bluetooth. Um, and this whole thing is an external battery too. And so, uh, it says, so it, it said it takes about two and a half hours to charge. I think it took a little less than that, maybe about an hour. Um, it uses the same, uh, large, uh, can you see the same large, uh, connections, large Bluetooth, not the mini micro, uh, I'm sorry, not <laughs> Bluetooth connections, uh, micro USB connections. It uses the mini USB connections, I believe, is the correct name for that. So they're not the super small ones like on the bottom of this Android phone, for example. But anyway, so you charge it that way. So this is great. So that goes on the back of the droid. So, I mean, the back of the droid. See, I'm so excited. I'm just like throwing my words around. It goes on the back of the GoPro. So I'm going to show you how this, this kind of works. This is everything that comes in the box. So this is the box that it comes in. And it comes with the, uh, the attachment. Um, which is fantastic. Okay, so this is, I can use to set it best. So obviously power on off, which basically turns the Bluetooth on. Um, and then the microphone on off, if you want to use the, uh, the microphone that comes as part of this, which is like right there, um, on the side there, which is really no different than the microphone that's part of the, part of the actual, um, GoPro. So anyway, and then this is the, the, the charging side right here. Uh, so the bottom one is what you plug in for uh, for charging, uh, and it's also the one that connects to the, the base of the GoPro. This is your GoPro. You guys all know what a GoPro looks like. I have the three, um, and then here are the uh, the SD card, and then the. Now the reason I want to show you this is because, like a lot of attachments, it goes on the back, like you've probably experienced in the past, and then it just sort of snaps in. Then what you need to do is you need to put this little jumper. Uh, between the two um, connections and unfortunately I don't have like a tripod for my phone but this is like this is where I don't know what separates the men from the boys this is this is what pisses me off um, it's not trivial to get this thing in there to uh, both the connections so anyway I don't know how much time I'm gonna spend videoing this because I don't want to break it uh, but anyway, it's kind of annoying. So the bottom line is that you need to get it in both of those holes. Okay. So that's basically what it looks like when you're done. Um, anyway, so that's pretty awesome. So that's that thing. And then it's pretty simple. Um, you just turn it on and, um, the, oh, one, two, three, four. So if it blinks four times, then that means the battery is between 70 and hundred percent. Um, and then it stays on solid and then you press the pairing and this is what I was talking about before with the whole big level of patience business So you have to kind of press the pairing thing hold it down until it goes red blue red blue red blue And then basically now it is ready to pair So I'm gonna pair it with the blue buds um, Which are these if you've never seen them before the VCE is just a, it's a manufacturer of world-class converts infrastructure and it's one of these deals that they gave out at their booth at an IT show so to get this thing to pair then you basically just turn it on by holding this down till it gets blue and this is really a pretty similar sort of paradigm so it's on now and then and I wish I had a microphone to put up to the ears here because basically what it says is it says it's pairing 
So you hold down both of the volume controls on this at the same time, press both the volume controls down until it gets in pairing mode, which as you can see will occur in the infamous 10 seconds that I don't want to wait because I'm lazy. Or no, I'm not lazy, I'm impatient is what I am. So I think I'm holding, okay, so there we go. So now they're pairing. And what you're gonna notice after a little bit is that, and I wish I could put this, put the other earpiece up so you could hear it. But basically, all right, so there you go, so it paired. So now these things are working together and now you've got this wireless Bluetooth headset so that you can um, basically walk around and have pretty decent audio.